I still didn't know how to feel about it, but I know I don't regret it. Um, so what did I do? I quit my job. Ah, <laughs> I quit my job to do YouTube full time and it's mad. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today's Saturday and I've got quite a few errands to run. Um, mainly I've got to buy um, a giveaway that I promised for my Primark haul. Got to go to Primark, buy the girl that won the giveaway, her favourite item and then ship it to her. I promise I gotta do it. Um, but first of all, I'm going to go to Nando's and have lunch solo. Um, in case you guys don't know, your girl is no longer getting fully employed. I am fully self-employed and honestly, I don't really know what to do with myself. Like, I'm kind of panicking inside, but I need to start getting used to this full-time blogger life. But anyway, I'm treating myself to lunch, a bit of Nando's because Nando's is life. I've been filming this morning, which is why we are be child that's why we're looking good feeling good um so yeah let me get going this vlog i have no idea what it's going to include but i'll be vlogging a lot now but yeah let's move yep thank you thank you very much so guys i've had my nandos and i've just decided that i'm not going to go to primark i'm feeling a bit down if i'm being honest um so last night like i call, i we called things off and say i like it was a mutual thing to call things off with the guy i've been dating for the last two and a half months i've been calling him number two so let's call him number two um i just think i said before like we just fought all the time argued all the time about just really silly trivial stuff and i was trying out this whole new me you know be humble be more vulnerable don't be so quick to like give attitude and sass and all that and i just feel like it got me nowhere with him so yeah that's done a lot of times I date people and um, I don't really care. I felt like I, I really liked him, but if I try and think about what it was about him that I really liked, I can't really put my hand on anything except for maybe the fact that he's just very cute in how naive he is about stuff. And he can be quite sweet. That's it. Like, I don't know him. I don't know if he's kind to other people. I don't know what his relationship like with his friends his family i didn't know anything about him so i can't really say i really really liked him because to be honest i don't know him but at the same time i still feel a little bit down like i got up this morning i filmed my video did my hair did my makeup and looking cute but you know i just don't feel up to driving 20 minutes and shopping and so i've eaten my food i'm gonna go home and just chill and put a movie on and make myself a cup of tea and hopefully i'll be feeling better i'm sure in a few days i'll be like, whatever didn't even like you anyway <laughs> knowing me but for now i'm just like mm. but yeah anyway while i was eating my nando's which was delicious some stuff now i was just thinking oh my god mimi are you gonna be able to afford to just eat out the way i'm accustomed to like I spend most of my free time just spending money, like going to watch movies, eating out a lot, going to London, like I literally don't know how to have a good time without spending money apart from when I'm playing tennis, but even that my membership to my club costs money. So I really need to readjust my lifestyle to fit my new employment status a bit mad but anyway i just thought i'd update you guys i'm not going to primark today maybe i'll go tomorrow if not i'll go to monday yep good morning guys so yesterday i just ran a few errands i had to um i should put you here because the lighting's a bit better yesterday i had to send off the price for my giveaway to the lady that won it from my primark haul so if you guys haven't been getting involved with my giveaways make sure you do in all the hauls i do someone can win their favorite item so i went down and i post i purchased it and i posted it to her so that was good and what also did yesterday yesterday i think i secured some brand deals as well which is always awesome um so i think you guys will probably be coming with me now and seeing a lot of the behind the scenes of 
being a YouTuber. So today I've got to do some filming for um, another brand deal, a hair company. So that's what I'll do today. And then if I up to it, I will go to the cafe down the road because my sister said to me, my sister said to me, by the I just got back from the gym. But the weather was so bad, I didn't actually get to play any tennis. But my sister said to me that it's better now that I'm working full time for myself, it's better that I go out of my home to work, even though I do have a studio that I can work in. It's better, like, if I'm doing computer work, to go to a cafe and then just focus for like two hours and getting that done. Because when you're at home, it's really hard to separate if something comes up, you just do. What do you want to do? So yeah, now I'm just going to make breakfast. I'm going to have something really light. I'm just going to make myself a cup of coffee and then some cereal. And then I'll start my business day. Fill up my kettle. Gotta get to work. So I've just opened up my hatch. Some of you guys, I think the last time I said that, said you didn't realise. You said you didn't realise that I had a housemate, so I used to have two housemates. Um, one of them has left and I still have the other one. And the one that left and I use that room as my studio space. So this is kind of like my living room, you guys have seen the tour. So when my housemate's not home, I just open up the hatch. Enjoy my space. And it's lovely, I might start doing a bit more filming in here as well. Because it's cute. Um, but yeah, this is my studio space, so today we're going to be working in here. I did do a little bit of rejigging, it's not as tidy as it needs to be, but my brother got me... My brother got me those little light thingies that say looking good for Christmas, so I finally got to put them up, so they're cute. So this is where I usually film my sit down videos. So I'm going to have breakfast come back in here get pretty get glam and then film the video for the hair company and then after that I might have lunch and then head to the cafe and try and book some more brand of deals because we got to secure the bag breakfast So I'm just getting ready so I can do a bit of filming today. I thought I'd just like chat to you guys. Um, I think like the last time you guys saw me, I was feeling a bit down, like things with the guy I've been dating for the last few months, you know, had gone pretty damn south. But I've just had some chance to like obviously think about it and I just realised, you know, you can't force anything. Obviously, I do kind of like him. So, you know, he's under a lot of stress at the moment and the best thing I can do is just leave it if it's meant to be it will be so i'm definitely in a much better mood now and i'm just focusing because now i've got this new challenge of being fully self-employed and having to make sure that like you know my channel does well you know my instagram does what like everything does well so your girl can pay her bills so that's what my fan off that's what i'm going to focus my attention on at the moment and he's got to focus his attention on he's got a lot of um he's got accounting exams on at the moment that he's mad stressed about so i'm gonna let him do that and i'm just gonna do me <laughs> so yeah so yesterday was kind of just like a work day but to be honest i wasn't the most productive i did finish editing a video that will go up later on tonight i also secured some brand deals as well for may so i was working months in advance i was booked like my brand deals for the following month so that way i have a good idea of what's coming in so i've set targets for everything like if you're running your own business and you don't have targets that you want to achieve each month you're not running a proper business you have to know 
what your goal is i've set targets for everything so this one ships that i need to secure in order to pay the bills for me i've got about 60 percent of it so the next few weeks of april i'm going to spend trying to make sure we get the 400 percent and i shot some content to apply for you know some instagram sponsorship so that's something as well that i'm working on trying to build my instagram and get sponsored to post out there which kind of like maximize our different revenue streams so if you're not following me on instagram please go follow me help me get a bit of extra coin from these brands out here so yesterday was pretty productive work-wise and today i've just got to film a hair review for a hair company this is the hair they sent me um i'll do a proper sit down video to talk about it it's quite a bit shorter Ooh. It's quite a bit shorter than I would normally have it. I think it's 20 inches. I've not had 20 inches in so long. This keeps coming off. I'm just going to take it off. I just put that down there to try and lay the hair flat. But it's body weight. It's cute. So that's what I'm getting ready to film now. And then once that's filmed, another brand sent me a, um, a whole bunch of stuff to do a bikini try on video. <laughs> me that i'm not bikini ready but it's not sponsored but i do like i normally do not do any you know brand promotion unless they're putting coin in my packet because believe it or not my mortgage company will not allow me to pay my mortgage with bikinis so it's coins that i need in order to pay my bills so i normally don't do it but i have worked with this company a few times all unpaid and when i was going on holiday they sent me a whole bunch of bikinis and i loved them so i was like okay do you know what summer is coming up i'm sure i'm gonna go away again so send me the stuff and um, but they sent it to me and then it came with a 30 pounds custom bill now knowing these companies know what they're doing they know how to get by without you having to pay the custom fees so i just hold them like look you're not paying me I'm not going to go spend my money to pay a £30 custom fee when I'm essentially working for you for free. So they've just deposited the money in my bank account. If you are young or you're a small micro-influencer, do not let these brands take the piss out of you. Because if you allow it, <laughs> you will be losing. So yeah, they've sent the money. So I'm going to go pick that up from my local post office. And then we're going to have a look and see whether or not we can be filming bikini hearts, okay? So, yeah. So, the one thing I would say that I'm really feeling quite optimistic about is what I'm going to do with my free time. Because I was quite worried that, you know, I would have a lot of free time and not a lot to do with it because I don't live in London. But I'm just seeing that, like, now I'm making the conscious effort to make plans with my friends in advance. I'm going to London this weekend. We're going to spend some time with Melissa. We might film a video together. Just go for dinner and drinks. Um, she's a good friend of mine from university. And then I'm going to see my sister as well. And then I'm sitting down with one of my subscribers to film a video about her love life for once it's not mine thank you jesus so yeah lots of exciting things this weekend and i've got stuff planned for next weekend as well it's easter and it's also aisha's birthday she's back from asia so i'll probably see her this week as well but i'm gonna see her and my best friend jess next weekend and then for easter i'll go to kent and spend some time with the family that's a harsh nose contour man damn but yeah, I'm feeling quite optimistic about everything. So I just wanted to chat to you guys and just let you know, um, you'll probably be seeing a lot more behind the scenes now of like, you know, how I run, you know, my blogging work. Respond to a lot of your comments, respond to my emails, my business emails, and also apply for some sponsorships as well with brands that I would really like to work with. Obviously, when you're smaller, you know, a lot of brands aren't really checking for you, but you gotta, you gotta still try. So, we will be big one day. I kid you not, we will. But anyway, let me carry on getting cute and then we'll come back, chat to y'all later. So, I've got the items. Hopefully they're going to be cute and worth all this hassle. Just thought I'd just go to my local supermarket. I always go to Lidl, guys. That's my fave. So affordable. I'm going to go and just pick up some stuff for a salad to eat later on. Ooh, how cute my makeup is. 
I am proud of my makeup game. So back home, I'm gonna show you guys the bikinis they sent me, but first, I'm gonna put my lunch in the oven. It's not the healthiest in the world, but I do fancy a beef lasagna. So I'll probably have that with some vegetables. Maybe another cup of coffee to stop myself going back to bed. I feel like that's gonna be a struggle now that I'm just working a lot at home or working for myself. So I'm just gonna be in bed all the time watching TV. <laughs> I ordered so basically with brands um, when they want you to you know showcase some of their products or whatever they just send you you know a brief of how many you can choose and yeah you just go pick what you want so these are the swimsuits that I picked so from Kutchi I love their swimsuits oh my god I love Okay, comes in this cute little packaging. I got this green two piece. I got quite a few one pieces and quite a few that like cover the pouch because your girl got a pouch. This is cute. Like, oh my god, I love the green. That is so cute. Oh, this one I was excited about. Oh, I thought it was I thought it was a one piece, but it's actually a two piece. So there's this like boob tube. Oh, okay, so yeah, I figure how it's gonna it's gonna look like a one piece, but it's actually a two piece. This is boob bandeau top, and then there's these bottoms, but these will clip on over the shoulders, which is why it looks like a one piece. So again, another one piece. Um, lots of like cut out detailing. I really like the black and multi coloured print. Um, and this took quite a while to come actually. It usually comes in a week. This took like two weeks to come. So then I got this cute little yellow, reminds me of like lemons and summer. Another two piece, high waisted. And it's got this drawstring detailing in the front. That's gonna look so cute. And, and then the high waisted bottoms to so suck your girl in. And the drawstring detail in the front of the top, they have it in the sides as well low neck all the way down to I guess like here and then one piece swimsuit it's so hard to showcase this but I don't know where just yet but it looks cute so those are the items that I got from cup sheet so at some point I'll have to film a haul to showcase them not paid but whatever I guess that means I gotta book a holiday now that I got cute swimsuits I am thinking I might go to Barcelona in four weeks time because uh, obviously I've got friends out there that I haven't seen for ages and I've obviously got a place to stay so even though I'm not sure how my finances are at the moment that's an affordable little trip I can take away and I just got to celebrate having more free time so that will be just after my notice period is done with work and yeah to just kick off my new fully self-employed life I might take a little trip to Barcelona so these bad boys could get worn my sister's trying to get me to come to Galicia as well and another place she wants to go Lanzarote I'm not sure I can't commit to anything that's gonna cost a lot of money right now I need to see how things look for the next three months financially before any of that happens so we're not booking holidays we ain't got nobody sponsoring our lifestyle so you know if we can't secure some bags we ain't going nowhere but yeah let me just put these all away now until I am <gasps> swimsuit ready with the body Body is not the worst. We got some ways to go. Yeah, we gotta get rid of all that. Like I say that all the time. Why you, why you, Classic. Oh, na, na, na. Oh, na, na, na. 
I remember then when we done it also for the streets, knowing one day you go pay.